Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to take a look at an upcoming release from Moon Soaps, Bixby. We'll take a look at the scent notes, impressions, performance, all that good stuff in just a little, little bit. Hey guys, I'm John, aka Latherhog, and if you're looking for videos covering the world of traditional wet shaving, whether it be razors, shaving brushes, shave soaps, or aftershaves, then you've come to the right place. Remember, later on, if you find this video useful and you'd like the videos of this channel, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber. These are all ways to help grow the channel and get my videos in front of more wet shaving enthusiasts. And a big thank you to all the Lathered Talk patrons. Thank you for your continued support. If you are interested at all in financially supporting this channel, please check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lathered Talk. Now back to the main feature of today, and that is Big Speed by Moon Soaps. This release is dropping Friday, May 5th. Uh, Moon Soaps doesn't have uh, release upon release. They probably come out with a new scent maybe every other season or so. This is not an artisan that's flooding the market by any means, so whenever a new release comes out from them, I'm intrigued. Just a quick note that the Bixby Shave Soap and Aftershave Splash were sent to me for free by Moon Soaps. These are all my own honest thoughts and opinions on the scent. Just want to give you guys a heads up. The backstory behind Bixby, this set is inspired by a morning drive near the Bixby Bridge, which is near Big Sur, California. Now I'm really digging this pattern that's emerging from Moon Soaps that uh, Melody and Zach, the artisans behind the brand, uh, they're taking locations that are special to them and creating scents from that. So uh, they're very environment-based, location-based, and I feel like it makes it just a tad more personal. A lot of the wet shaving artisans and brands like to play to nostalgia, uh, vintage goods and whatnot because of the throwback nature of you know, this hobby. And what's emerged for Bixby is a distressing of the label. I'll give you a closer look here, but um, you can see you know, uh, it's been designed to have some wear and tear, uh, and I, I really dig it. I've always liked their labels. They've always been eye-catching. I think the color scheme goes with that kind of vintage feel, and this kind of distressed look even you know, furthers that a little bit more. So the official scent notes of Bixby include black tea, tonka, smoked vanilla bean, black volcanic sea salt, coastal driftwood, black pepper, Italian bergamot, jasmine, green apple, and last but not least, musk. Now that I've given you a little background on the scent, let's get into the shave itself. So Moon Soaps Bixby is in the tallow formula. One of the taglines of Moon Soaps is from the butcher to the barber. So they render their own tallow. And this is a really easy to work with soap. It's not overly thirsty. It whips up lather quite quickly. I would say it's about a medium density. There's a little bit of fluffiness into it, but the main characteristic is that it's just really easy to whip up a good lather. Also, once upon lathering, uh, the most dominant characteristic of Bixby is sweet and green. The scent is well blended. I'm not picking out, you know, each and every individual note. Again, sweet and green is kind of the, you know, the broad brush strokes, if you will. One other shaving scent that's similar to Bixby, I would say, is Roar by Noble Otter. It kind of has that, a similar sweet green characteristic, although that one I think has a note of dandelion, something that, that plays up that floral characteristic just a little bit more than Bixby. All right, so Bixby provided a great shave. Uh, the accompanying partners today was the Carve Shaving Overlander with a fresh pull silver blade, along with a West Coast Shaving Infinity Brush that went, you know, as a great complement with the Bixby label. 
So to wrap up my thoughts on Big Speed, this is a very refreshing scent. Uh, that cool experiment that I mentioned before, uh, it really helps paint that picture, complete the picture of a morning drive on a coastal town or city. And I think this could have easily been a very generic aquatic type scent. Uh, something you know along the lines of like a nautica voyage or most of your you know, fresh blue body washes that guys get but uh, they went for something different moon soaps went for something different here again sweet green minty that's primarily what my nose got uh, just to kind of round out that sweetness it is this combination of kind of like a vanilla and uh, a citrusy fruitiness. So, you know, bergamot and green apple or other notes included here. Um, if I really had to uh, be pushed towards it, I would say this almost goes into the realm of La Malle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, maybe it's like that vanilla mint impression. I, my brain can't help but go there. So those of you who are into fragrances might appreciate that connection. It's not a one for one. It's not meant to be a clone dupe or anything like that. But um, that's just another scent along with Noble Otter Roar is in that similar realm. But overall, a great experience. I think this scent, uh, given the greenness, it really, really places it as a springtime scent for me, but it's got enough appeal that it can be all season uh, for those who aren't too picky about that kind of stuff. One additional note, uh, if you do order directly from Moon Soaps, Melody does such a good job as far as packaging and making the whole thing look really nice as far as tissue paper, presentation on all of that. It's next level. And there's even a handwritten note card, something to, to just show appreciation for your business. So if that kind of thing, if you, if you like your mail packages orders to kind of have that next level of presentation and whatnot, consider ordering directly from Moon Soaps. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to catch you next time. Take care.